Hello, welcome to Tours with the Stars. I'm Roger and um, I'm going to take you on a tour through our wonderful house. I think this is a good place to start. I think it sums up um, the house, what, what it is to believe in our house, here as, at our house. Um, so I'm just going to take you on a little tour. Um, this is probably the nicest piece of furniture we have. Um, we, we should have probably cleaned up before we started. Um, this is the second nicest piece of furniture we have. There's nothing under it. It's really just got a picture of Aaron Paul from Breaking Bad on it. Um, but it, it is basically sturdy. We have another one, but it's kind of full. See, if I tried to walk over to it right now, um, there's a lot happening with that. This one looks like a skeleton. Sometimes I'll sleep on this and I'll look over here and I'll think like, is that a skeleton? Um, and it used to be a great futon, but at, at one point there was some domestic violence. And so as you can see, they're really, you can't sit on it, you can't lay on it, you cannot stand on it. Um, it really takes up most of the living room, um, but that's why we have the love sign. We needed people to know what our home is about. This is one of our windows. Um, this one you can see because of the plant in it, you close it and you're like, it doesn't close all the way. Um, you know, and you could move the plant, but the plant does need sunlight. Um, as you can see with our other windows, um, they, they do go all the way to the bottom. Um, I think you could go in any room really, and you'll see that normally the windows, yeah, see, they're, they're always, they're always pretty good about that. Um, let's see, the bathroom window, the bathroom window. See, there isn't a curtain. Here we have, um, basically a hole. Um, and you could, there's like, hell is down there. If you could see, oh, we could probably see. Oh no, is there a home? No, okay, good. And then there's heaven up there. And it, I don't think we can see heaven, um, because I'd have to pop the window shade out, and I'm not allowed to do that. Let me show you one of the other windows. Oh my god. Is that a skeleton? Oh my god, no. I thought it was a skeleton. <laughs> oh, here we are. See, with this one, there it was some broken damage. Um, I did do that. In fact, this fell out one time. And there was someone down there. Um, I could have killed them if it were made out of stainless steel. Um, there, this place used to be bug free, but as you can see from the hole right here, and the, and the window is open, that sometimes things happen. Apple or peach, pear, um, blender. Blender. The dishes are the hardest part of the home. I've always been like, why are there sinks in the kitchen? We have one in the bathroom, um, but there definitely are sinks here. Um, and they always end up getting dishes in them, and I don't know why. It's like every house I've been in, there's, there's always this place where people can put dishes. And it was I've always thought, like, if you don't have a sink, you'll be able to deal with it in a better way, you know, um, like the bathroom, put them in the bathroom sink. Um, so, you know, I might just, um, some other great things about the house, they, they did this cool thing where every, the walls are very, like square, or there's not really an unpredictability about it. You look up and it's generally gonna be square. And see, I'm just showing you 
the general idea here is that you've already got a gross toilet. Um, why not have dishes in your sink too? The mirror is basically gross. I don't even know what's behind the mirror. I honestly, I'm always like, I'm not going to touch the mirror or what's behind the mirror. Towel rack. There is a dog. Um, it really isn't anybody's dog. And you may think I'm making that up. Uh, it's not. It has this thing where we're feeding ourselves and we'll be like, are you hungry? And the dog doesn't eat it. Um, you'll be like, you'll, you'll drop something on the floor and you'll be like, well, let's have the dog eat it. And um, I, I could show you a demonstration maybe. Um, I mean, this dog doesn't eat its own fucking food half the time. I mean, so where we are like, eat our food and the dog says, I want my own food. So, um, I don't do, someone is getting the dog food. I don't feed the dog. I don't walk, I walk the dog. I don't pick up the dog's poop unless I have like a candy wrapper, something handy. And then I usually try to fling it into the street. Like, if this is my arm, and we'll have, like, poop in it, I just want to get it into the street, away from the sidewalk, away from the grass. And then the cars, they have the wheels that are designed for that. Um, the great thing about the cupboards is they have those same square lines that the ceilings and walls have. They're really, like... This one is 3D, like this one, it sticks out, it's a box, and then this one is the other way, where it goes in, and there's a corner, and you can't reach it, you know, you could try, um, you could try coming from this way, maybe, um, both ways, um, so we got like this key a nail through it. Oh, the nail doesn't fit. Maybe the lip balm might be the solution. And then we sort of just, just, there's a retainer on the floor. Get it off the floor. And like a piece of a burnt match right here. And then you can sort of touch the corner of the room. And this all falls. Um, but we did it. Um, and that's basically the tour of the house um, that we ha live in. Um, if you need to live here, these are the types of things that you'd have to deal with. Actually, let me go through the things you're going to have to deal with if you live here. Well, that retainer, you remember right from earlier? It's sort of always here. And then we have this key, mail key gum and this is the part that is the worst the bill okay everyone but tune in next week the dog <laughs> leg the bone structure face and the tongue we have the tongue through the tongue the tongue